What's up my gorgeous friend on YouTube? In this video I'm gonna show you how to download and install NetBeans ID on Windows 10. Stick around. Now the first prerequisite for the NetBeans ID is Java GDK. It means you cannot use NetBeans ID without installing the Java GDK. So for installing Java GDK, go to your preferred browser and type in the search box Java GDK. And you will be redirected to this page. Here in this page, click on the first link Oracle Java C, GDK and GRE. Now in this page, you can find out the different versions of Java C and the latest version of Java C is 15. Now go to the GDK download. Here in this page, you will see the different operating systems for the GDK download. So according to your operating system, you are going to choose one. Since I'm a Windows user, so I'm going to choose installer. And now click on the checkbox. Select download GDK and the downloading process will be started. There you go. Here select a specific position where you want to download. Now I am happy with the default place which is selected the downloads. And I am gonna click on save. You can see the downloading process is started now. It may take a little bit time according to the internet speed. So I am gonna pause the video here and I will be back soon. And now my gorgeous friends now you get to the place you have downloaded the GDK. In my case that's downloads, I'm gonna go with that and there you go. This is the place where I have downloaded this GDK file. So for installing double click on this. Now the installing process is very easy, just click on next. Here select a position where you want to install the Java C development kit. But try to leave it as default if you don't have a serious reason for changing the position. So I'm gonna leave it as default, click on next. And now you can see the installing process is started. This may take a while so I'm again pausing the video and I will back soon. There you go, now the installing process of GDK is finished. But the problem is we have to add the Java GDK path to the environment variable. It's not gonna be added by default. And if you don't do that, you won't be able to use the NetBeans ID. So for that go simply to the this PC properties, advanced setting, environment variable. And here you will see the two types of variables here, user variable and system variable. I'm gonna copy that to the system variable so that I'm able to use that in different users in my computer. So what you're gonna do now you have to go to the local C, program files, Java and the GDK that you have installed. Go to the bin and copy this path. This is the important part. You have to copy this path there to the environment variable. Now here you will see something by the name of path. Click on edit and here click on new and paste the path that you have copied. Okay. And now the path is successfully added to the system variables. But we are not done here. You need to create a new variable and add the Java GDK path on that, not the bin. So I'm gonna do so, just go to the new variable, write by the capital letters Java home. And here paste the path, but not the bin. So I removed the bin part and now this is it. We are done now. Click on OK, 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 and close. Now, to confirm that the Java GDK path is successfully added, you have to go to the run CMD. And here you have to type Java dash version. Now you can see we have successfully installed the Java version 15.2. And also beside that we have installed Java C runtime environment and a bunch of different things. Now it's time to download the NetBeans IDE. For downloading the NetBeans IDE, again go to the preferred browser and in the search box type NetBeans. Enter and you will be redirected to this page. Click on the first link Welcome to Apache NetBeans. And now you are in Apache NetBeans page. Go to the download. In this page you can see the different versions of NetBeans ID which is the newest versions also exist here. But since this uh, version is LTS it means long term support so I'm gonna download this one. Click on download. And here you can see the different types of downloading. The binary type which is already installed and the files are in a zip file. You just need to extract them and you will, you will have the installed NetBeans IDE. But I want to install the NetBeans IDE by myself so I'm gonna click on one of the installers set up according to my operating system. And as my operating system is Windows so I'm gonna click on this one. 
And now here you can see the different links is given to me in order to download. So I'm going to click on the first link. And now you can see the downloading window is prompt to me. Again, here you can select the place you want to download this NetBeans setup. So I'm going to leave it as default. Click on save. And now you can see the downloading process has started. And again, this may take some time according to your network connection. So I'm going to pause the video here and I'll be back soon when the downloading process is completed. Now the downloading process of NetBeans ID is completed. I'm going to navigate to my downloads and I'm going to install that now. Double click on this setup and now the installing process is going to be started. Here you can see you can write the codes of different languages like Java, HTML and JavaScript and also PHP. In the customize you can select which language to be installed and which not but now I want to leave it as default and install all of these and this will take 690 MB of my disk. So I'm gonna click on next, accept license agreement, click on next again. Here you can see the GDK is also come with the NetBeans ID because we have added the GDK path in the environment variable. At this point we can select the position where we want to install this NetBeans ID since the C drive of mine is just for programs and windows so I'm gonna leave it as default. And if you have another GDK installed in your computer you can select that GDK by clicking on the browse and selecting that GDK. Click on next and again this may take a little bit time so I'm gonna stop the video here and I'll be back soon when the installation is completed. And now you can see the installation process is completed successfully and yeah congratulations you have installed NetBeans ID successfully. Something not to be forgotten that we have provided you with valuable information and you my gorgeous friends provide us with likes and subscribes and sharing the videos. So this was all for this lesson now you are ready to rock and create your projects. Hope you enjoy and learn something. See you in the next lesson.